Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video, I'm comparing the Intel i7 6700K Skylake processor with the i7 4790K and 4770K CPUs. Now I believe this is going to be a quite interesting comparison to many of us, since we want to know how much did these mainstream i7 CPUs actually improve over the years. All three processors here aren't exactly cheap, but they perform really really well. But how much of a performance difference can we expect, and is it worth it to upgrade, the benchmarks will tell us. Now as you saw yourself, there definitely are improvements by just swapping around these i7 CPUs. Especially the new 6700K really does well in games. In fact so well you'd think you just upgraded the graphics card. But then again that's not the case here. A few years back, an i7 and an i5 CPU were totally comparable in games, both offering almost identical frame rates. That time's over now it seems. Since we already get to see partly huge FPS improvements by just upgrading the i7 process. There's nothing real interesting going on when it comes to temperatures, but the power consumption definitely improved. Not much, but clearly Intel wanted to boost the performance a little more, not lower the power draw that much. Still quite impressive nonetheless. Alright, that's good and all, but we knew these processors perform well even before this comparison video. The pricing at the time of this video is interesting. The oldest one costing the fewest of all, while the latest one costing the most obviously. But which of these CPUs is the way to go in terms of price performance ratio? To be honest, I think the offered performance matches the current price points fairly well. So it's not that easy to tell which one's better in the end in terms of pricing. All I can say is, the 4770K may not be the best choice anymore better concentrate on the 6700K and 4790K. In the end it's all up to you. Hopefully the short comparison video could help you out with your choice. As always stay tuned for more Skylick videos. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.